Hi everybody. Today I'd like to construct a very special staircase. It's a metaphor for us going to the next platform. This is about the, what I call the ascension mathematics. So let's create a staircase over here and then we're going to double it and, in, and inquire with the harmonic maps inside. So I've already given myself some boundaries here. So I've, I've got some boundaries. I've got some boundaries down here and across there. Now I'm just going to draw eight vertical lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to meet it with eight horizontal lines. These are all one unit cell going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to give it some dimension, we need to draw about 10 diagonal lines. So you'll just, we'll draw those in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see that we've created a staircase here and it's symbolic of something that is rising, but we want to make it rise even more. So I'm going to reproduce these, these steps over here. So we'll just quickly draw that again. So eight vertical unit cells. met by eight horizontals. And this is something you can draw on graph paper. The dimensions of the graph paper is five by six. Um, so we've got the eight, now we're gonna draw in these diagonals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see that's a continuous staircase. And now that we have the art, this is called a yantra. Yantra in the ancient Vedic system means a device, a machine, it's a tool. It can, it's, it's power art, it's mathematics imbued into art so that it conducts psychic essences. So now that we've created a yantra, we want to um, empower it with something we want to manifest in our life. So I would like to um, encode what I think is important to me. It's called the true value of pi. So this value 3.144 repeats again at the end after 18 decimals. So I'm going to write these numbers in here. So there's three and the 18 decimals that you see here, which are based on the true value of um, the golden ratio. The golden ratio is 1.618. But without knowing the golden ratio, which is the mathematics of um, flowers and apples and plants, and it's in the human body where the elbow bends, is called a golden ratio. So we're studying the living maths of nature. So I'm taking these numbers, 3.144, and I'm encoding it onto the staircase. So I'm gonna write one, four, four. So that represents 3.144605511. And this is where they join, so it's a zero. 3.144605511029699. And notice what happens on the last four steps. The 3.144 repeats. So it goes um, over here, we've got the 3144. So I'll just recite that quickly to you to show you that, that I know this. It's really important to me. So the true value of pi is 3.144605511029693144. And it actually goes forever. But what I'd like to highlight here is that we're going to take these numbers and we're going to keep multiplying every single digit by the next successive digit. So 3 times 1 is 3. We've got that. 3 times 1 times 4 is 12. 12 has a lot to do with the zodiac. And you can talk a lot about the 12 in, in history. Um, then multiply the 12 by the next 4 is 48. And we're going to keep multiplying 3, 1, 4, 4 times the next number 6. So 48 times the 6 is 288. And the reason why 288 is special is because it's actually double the harmonic of light. So when we talk about the speed of light, it's actually 144,000 nautical miles of arc per grid second. And in harmonic maps, when we have something like 144,000, 
we can delete the zeros and we're left with harmonic 144. So this is ancient knowledge that's embedded within the true value of pi. When we're talking about pi, we're talking about the ratio of the diameter. If that's one, this circle is 3.144. That's the circumference. So this is an ancient knowledge that has been dis distorted and we're correcting it to 3.144 because we understand the mathematics of flowers called the golden ratio. So we've got 288 up to here. We want to mul We can't multiply by zero. So when we multiply 288 by the next number five, we get the same number again, 144. And the reason why we're talking about 144 is that the, the true value of pi is 3.144. So this is the cosmic part of it that the speed of light harmonic is already inside the relationship of the unit circle to its circumference. Now, if I multiply this 1440 by the next 5, I end up with 7200. And in harmonic maths, we're allowed to drop the zero. So 720 is the harmonic of this number. And that's the um, number of degrees. If you counted 60, 60, 60, that's 180. So 180 times the four faces, the four triangles is 720. So the tetrahedron, which is the building block of all atomic structure, is based on the 720 harmonic. And the octahedron, if we were to calculate all the angles of this octahedron here, it would add up to 1,440. So this octahedron is called the diamond light body because it's actually a representation of the speed of light. And we use this around our field for what's called astral health and protection. And the last one, when we multiply, when we multiply 7,200, by this two here, we end up with 14,400. And again, in harmonic maps, we're allowed to delete the zeros and we end up with harmonic 144. I just thought you would enjoy that because this is showing that the most simplest thing in the universe in mathematics is the ratio of the circle to its diameter. That's the, our most fundamental mathematical symbol. And what this all relates to is the number 5, because to get 3.144, we, we have to divide the number 4 by what's called the square root of 5. So 5 is 1.618, this number here. But to get 1.618, we have to know the value of root 5. It's all going back to the number 5. But we want the square root of 5, which is called the golden root. So the golden root is this one here, 1.272. So what I'm trying to say is that we can't understand pi unless we understand phi, and we can't understand phi unless we understand the number five. And that's why we have five fingers and five toes on each hand and foot. And just to conclude, um, we've got the symbol for the golden ratio here, which is the Nautilus shell. So that's the golden spiral. In essence, it's all about the number five. And also when we take an apple, which is a symbol of fruit, fertility, and abundance, if instead of cutting it down this way, a vertical cut, I'm gonna do what's called a transverse cut. So when we slice an apple this way, and we look, we look, look inside of it, you generally will see a five-pointed star. That, what that means is that nature chooses to form its seeds in the fundamental five-pointed star. Thank you.